Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Now, some of you may have noticed that the Holy Father, on the 15th of March, declared that he would consecrate Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. And a few days later, we were told that he was inviting the bishops of the world, asking the bishops of the world to join him in this solemn act of consecration to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart, explicitly saying that he was doing this in order to follow Our Lady's request at Fatima. Now, some of you may be aware that the 18th of March happens to be Mariana's annual message at Medjugorje. Uh, a couple of years back, Mariana no longer was receiving so frequent apparitions, and instead, it was just going to be on the 18th. You know, Many people, well, actually Marianne herself, said the 18th of March is not chosen by Our Lady for the annual message because it happens to be my birthday. No, the 18th of March has been chosen because it is going to be a day of special cosmic significance. So it wasn't actually the 18th of March that Pope Francis announced the consecration. Maybe Marianne might and Medjugorje followers would have been quick to point that one out. But something that I found interesting is I was thinking to myself, so the Pope has just announced this completely almost unprecedented act, the communion of all the bishops of the world consecrating Russia to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart, in explicit fulfillment of what Our Lady herself said in Fatima in 1917 and again to Sister Lucy in 1929. So I was thinking to myself, in the 18th of March message, perhaps we will find something with Our Lady maybe responding to that fact, maybe saying, oh yes, back in Fatima, I asked for Russia to be consecrated to my Immaculate Heart. I'm now so pleased that the Holy Father has called the bishops uh, to follow him and to make a solemn act of consecration. And obviously, we have this war going on uh, in Ukraine right now. We might have even thought that the annual message, the 18th of March, would have some special prophetic significance, something to do with this, this global catastrophe that's taking place. And of course, a number, in fact, one particular YouTube channel, Mystic Post, is going to be one of my least favorite YouTube channels. I only I only look at Mystic Post in order to not quite have a laugh, but but you see, a few days before Mariana's apparition, they were already bigging up the event. Look at this thumbnail here, bigging up the 18th of March event, telling us this is going to be explosive. Look at their look at Mystic Post channel. Every day we have a neon fonted um, thumbnail which is announcing some kind of imminent apocalypse um it's crazy i hope i hope maybe if you do watch it you just look at it for fun because it's like completely clickbait stoking the fire apocalyptic craziness anyway so mystic post obviously got on board bigging up the 18th of march this is going to be a big one it's definitely going to be about ukraine it's definitely going to be about the 10 secrets of medjugorje it's going to be about the Holy Father consecrating Russia. So let's have a look what Our Lady actually did say to Mariana, or is alleged to have said to Mariana, on the 18th of March. I'm going to read it out for us now. Dear children, with a motherly love, I am calling you to, full of strength, faith and trust, Look towards my son. Keep opening your hearts to him and do not be afraid because my son is the light of the world and in him is peace and hope. That is why, and you, and you, I am calling you to pray for those of my children who have not come to know the love of my son so that my son, with his light of love and hope, may illuminate also their hearts and you, my children, that he may strengthen and give you peace and hope. I am with you. Thank you. And so we find in that message nothing really outstanding. 
you can do your best to comb through that. Our Lady mentions peace, but she mentions peace at every, nearly every apparition, every so-called message from Medjugorje does mention peace. There's nothing here about war. There's nothing here about global conflict. There's nothing here about my Immaculate Heart. There's nothing here about the triumph of my Immaculate Heart. There's nothing here about Fatima. There's nothing here about the Holy Father, praying for the Holy Father. There's nothing here about playing, praying for the leaders of nations. It's kind of just, you know, I starting to think to myself, have all of these messages been written a really long time ago? And they're just dishing them out one by one. And they're doing it this way deliberately. So there's no topical link to the messages because they clearly, they or if it is Our Lady, Our Lady clearly doesn't want any topical link to any of her messages. There was nothing during the coronavirus epidemic, pandemic, about the pandemic. There was nothing, there has been nothing during any global crisis or the church, the clerical abuse crisis or whatever problems you know the 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 terrible treatment of cardinal pell there was there's been nothing there's nothing about pacamama it seems like the Medjugorje is always completely unlinked to any contemporary events but that makes me wonder what is the point of our lady giving a message if it is not contextual the whole point about the apparitions of our lady whether it is knock whether it is Lourdes, whether it's guadalupe whether it's fatima is they all fit in to the historical context and they their messages for that place that time linked to the particular problem going on so for me again the absence of anything linked to either the ukraine situation or the upcoming amazing consecration you know it's another moment of doubt really for the validity the veracity of medjugorje and you know what guys Let's wait and see March the 25th, because you know what? March the 25th, the day of the consecration, the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to Our Lady's Immaculate Heart with all the bishops, that day, Our Lady of Medjugorje is scheduled to give a message. So let's watch this space. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.